In the command window, type run important. It shows this message. We can help your research and engineering project. No matter of the size and the topic of your project, we can help. Visit www.yeeprogrammer.com. This is Marco Wu from yeeprogrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how do we use F min search um, to do optimization. Now, first, I create a function. This function, I have two variables. This setup is an inline function setup. So you can see at the beginning, there is add x1, x2. Now I have 1 fifth times 20 plus x1 and make this square. Now, to find the minimum value of this, you know, if I have just only the first part go to x1 square, we know the minimum value would be my, like x1 equal to minus 20. And then I have the second part is one half, oh, I have a typo, times 10 plus x2, and then the total thing square. Now, it is very simple. The answer is very simple. To find the minimum value of the solution, it, the solution would be zero. Now, but at this point, let's make a port. We use a function called mesh grid to create some value between um, two interval. I have the x1 interval from minus 50 to 50. I have the x2 interval is the same thing in here, minus 50 to 50. Now, this will help us to create some value for x1 and x2. Now, I put it into the f function, the inline function we just talked about, and create the z. Now, I use the function serve, and then it help us to make the port. Now, you can see this is the result. Now, this is the result of the port. We know the minimum value is equal to zero. Now, and it is going to be at the location, minus 10, minus 20, because we know anything square would be bigger than or equal to zero. We need to, we need to find the point that is zero and make it square to get the minimum value. But how can we do that using MATLAB? Now, in this function in here, we have the inline function with two variables. F means serve does not like this syntax. We only allow one variable, but how can we do that? We have one variable with two elements. We create an array. So x is now an array. x1 becomes the first element of x, x2 is the second element of x. Now I do the f mean serve. I put the initial value to be 0, 0. It comes up with the answer. Now, if I give the initial value to be 5, 6, 20, I still have the answer is minus 20, minus 10. If your research or engineering projects are falling behind, eeprogrammer.com can help you get them back on track without exploding your budget. Let us know what you need. You'll find relief here. Visit eeprogrammer.com. We can help you.